So to start off with a little confession. I've got all these years through my life without realizing that a rhombus actually has lines of symmetry. I made a mistake on the video before. If you look at that, I could fold it, I could fold it in half, of course it does. It has two, it's got one here and, and one and one here. Oh, well, I can't believe I got so far and that I never realized. I've decided everyone, I'm never gonna make a mistake again. No, hang on, I'll make loads. You tell me all about them. Um, now, I have found, had so much fun making these videos. It's been really difficult because I keep going to send the video off and make the final edit of it. And then I see another amazing Venn diagram and I just want to keep including them. Uh, thank you so much for sending them through. We're going to have a look at all of them. We're going to move on to a different classification task. First of all, though, I'm going to hand over to our new co-host. Hi Gareth, my name is Lowen Jones and I'm in year five and here's your homework. So over here we've got um, three different types of food and see which one is the odd one out. So pause the video. Here are some of the differences. These two have a rain pole and this one doesn't. These two have tomato sauce in them but um, this does not. Um, this one is planted from the ground and these two are not and seen obvious this one is bigger than these two and this one is the smaller one thank you for watching my video Gary well to warm us up there's so many examples that have been sent through and I wanted to pack in as many as I possibly could I'm going to talk you through the first two. So this was Anna's one. What I went for was the shape on the left. It could be the odd one out. It hasn't got any acute angles. It could be the shape in the middle. It actually doesn't have any obtuse angles. It's only got acute angles and reflex angles, angles that are more than 180 degrees. Or no, it could be the shape on the right. It hasn't got any lines of symmetry. Um, or this one, these four shapes from Herbie. So which one it could be the odd one out? I went for the triangle on the left, it's got no lines of symmetry. The, the second triangle, all its sides are the same length, it's the only shape that has that property. Um, I, I went for the third shape, it's got two obtuse angles, it's the only shape that's got two obtuse angles. And what about the fourth shape? Well, it's got a curved side. Wonderful examples, thank you again, Herbie, great stuff. Um, and. Again, we had this one from Joel. And again, I'm, I'm going to talk you through this one and then, and then we'll have a go at some. So, love the examples here from Joel. We've got rectangles, got two pairs of parallel lines. Um, the triangle, uh, the equilateral triangle, all the angles and sides are the same length. Um, whereas the hexagon could be the odd, odd one out. It hasn't got any lines of symmetry, for example. Um, it's just great getting all the examples through. Have a go at this one, though, from Emma. So, we've got four shapes. And um, why is each one the odd one out? Pause the video and have a go. Well, fortunately for me, Emma gives us the uh, some solutions. So the circle uh, it hasn't got any corners. Uh, the the square it has only got right angles. Um, the the triangle has got one line of symmetry. I think it wouldn't quite be an equilateral triangle then. It must be an isosceles triangle, I think. And then the shape on the right hand side, uh, the pentagon, I think it must be. It has no lines of symmetry. Love that example, Emma. I wonder how many people got those ones. Um, now, I have to say, the Venn diagrams have been the best thing ever. There have been some brilliant examples. So, just to warm us up, this was Anna's one. I'm going to show you what I thought for this one. I, I, I thought that the heading on the right could be two-wheeled vehicles. And the heading on the left could be motorised vehicles. That's what I went for. Um, now, there's two examples that are coming up. Again, I just also thought they were absolutely brilliant. So, have a bit of this one from Ethan. Um, what could the headings be? Pause the video. Okay, well, Ethan let me in on the secret on this one. Um, so, the headings are things that are still and things that are alive. So, the sofa and the plant, the pots are still. Um, the monkey and the plants are alive, but the cuckoo clock is neither still, because of course it moves, nor is it alive. I mean, how good is that? Let's have a look at this next example as well. Ah, just amazing. Okay, so what, what are the headings for each circle from Kirsten? 
Um, can you figure out what they must be? Um, pause the video and, and have a go. Well, well, again, this has got to be just about the best thing ever. Um, have a look at this. We've got ball sports in the red circle. We've got water sports in the blue circle. And we've got team sports in the yellow circle. The one that goes in all of them, water polo, a ball sport, a water sport, and a team sport. Ah, what, just a blinding example. Thank you, Kirsten. That is brilliant. Well, to finish off our series of shape lessons, we're gonna be thinking about questions we can use to sort shapes. So we're still looking at shape properties, but we're sorting using branching databases. Um, and I'm gonna build up to show you how that, can be, uh, how that can be done. So, first of all, have a look at these four shapes. Um, what are the similarities between the shapes and what are the differences? So pause the video, have a look, see if you can come up with any similarities and differences. Okay, so let's have, a, you'll have come up with different possible solutions. Well, one similarity, of course, is they're all pentagons. They all have five sides. Um, you could have looked at other similarities between some of the shapes, like um, the number of right angles the, shape have, the shapes have, or whether they've got any matching length sides, or whether they've got any, any parallel sides, and, and, and so on. And being able to see what's the same and what's different is going to be a key skill when we're, uh, when we're using our branching databases today. Um, so we're going to have a look at those same shapes. And I've asked a question that sorts these, two, these four shapes into two groups. Um, so the answer to the question is yes for these shapes and it's no for those shapes. Pause the video. What could that question be? Okay, let's have a look. I wonder if anyone got the same question as me. The question that I asked, not to say it's the only one, it could be, but the one I asked was this. Does the shape have at least one line of symmetry? The shapes on the right, no. The shapes on the left, yeah, at least one. What about this one? I've moved some of the shapes around now. What question sorts the shapes correctly there into yes and no? Pause the video, see if you can find it out. Well, the question I went for was this. Does the shape have a reflex angle? Well, no for the examples on the right here, and yes for these two examples here. This angle is a reflex angle because it's more than 180 degrees, and so is this one. So that's how these shapes are sorted into yes and no. Now, these are exactly the skills you're using when you're using a branching database here. So you've got to think about which question goes in the top box where yes will lead to these shapes going, um, these two shapes here, and no position these two shapes on this side. And then you need to think about another question. So of these two shapes, which question divides them correctly here? Now your task is this, pause the video and see if you can work out which three questions must be in those boxes or could be in those boxes. Well, are you ready to have a little look? The top box, does the shape have a line of symmetry? Well, yes, for the two shapes on the left, we've got one here and one just there. And it's no for the shapes on the right, so that's what sorts them into this side. Um, another question on the left, does the shape have any acute angles? Well, yes, this uh, arrowhead has got these two acute angles here, but we don't have one for, for this shape here. And does the shape have two pairs of parallel lines? Well, of course, the parallelogram does, and the trapezium, it doesn't. And so to today's activity. If you click on the blue link below this video from wherever you're watching the video on icmaths.com, it will bring open um, these options of tasks for you to have a go at. For task A and task B, um, you need to think about which questions will go in the box so that the, um, the branching database is completed correctly. So have a think about what those questions could be and the answers are, are, are at the bottom of the next page here. There's also an extend task. So design a branching database like with questions on that will sort these shapes I would love to see your branching databases of course you could have a go at designing your own branching database and um, to sort your own choice of shapes and as always my goodness I would love to see them I'll be back next week with a new set of videos I'm sure to see you then